Hello! What is up, guys? I am the Quantum Flux, and welcome to Tech Comparison Search Engines 2016 Edition. So, I apologize for taking so long to do this. I really meant to get it done, like, last December, even. Like, I was thinking about doing it, and then didn't. And you know what? It needs to be done, because it's a year old... I can commentate far better now, and sadly, Bleco is no longer with us, so there's been some changes. So I actually added one called InfoSpace to fill in the gaping hole that is Bleco, and some search engines have changed, such as Gigablast actually not being horrible, which is surprising, I was, and it's improved, so Gigablast is not metal. <laughs> As we saw in the last one, I do apologize for the 12, 1024 by 10, uh, but 1280 by 1024 screen. That's a thing of mine because I, I know probably most people who are new to my channel probably come through that video because it's almost got 300 views. And if you've seen that video, thank you for putting up with me. I mean, I'm seriously, like, hang man. Um, thank you so much for that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm being sincere as I possibly. But another thing to mention first before I go ahead and start the review is the browser I am using is called Vivaldi. I'll have a link to that in the description. It is a new browser that I will be reviewing in this video here so you can see it. I will be releasing these probably right on top of each other because they're both awesome. And I'd like to kind of, it's a new kind of thing and I put it on the tech channel if I have it. I, there's a lot of confusion going on with the tech stuff going on right now because I might be involved with the channel upgraded. Depends or not. By the way, by the way, um, Dylan, that's an amazing name. <laughs> Dylan Zagaria, who runs that channel. I love that name. That's an awesome name. I haven't gotten back to him, and I feel bad for it. Anyway, to the actual video. Okay, so the first one I'm going to go ahead and review is Bing. And last time I reviewed, did this tech comparison, I did the uh, UI. I'm going to do just about the same thing, except I'm going to do that and do the search results. So I'm using Google as a benchmark, and we're gonna first, we're gonna go to Google, and we're just gonna search something. I, I don't know, let's search, um, potato! Potato, that, because that's that's just what you search for. And I mean, I, I did actually use this already on some other search engines, and then they did show up different uh, results, like here. Okay, by the way, that's a Gigaboss thing. Um, and you get your Wikipedia, and this is generally what I would look for for potato, is like you get your Wikipedia definition and then you get um, different nutrition types of potatoes. You get potato related stuff, and the fact it's raining spuds in North Carolina, and a highway shuts down after thousands of potatoes spill onto a highway. That's so horrible, but absolutely hilarious at the same time, guys. Potato people are invading. No, I'm not. No, Peter Pong totally has nothing to do with that. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and start with Bing. Uh, let's go ahead and type in potato. I what in the world? Oh, I must take control P by accident. My bad. Potato of awesome. And we get generally the same results. Now you get your Wikipedia article, you get a definition. That's actually pretty good. And you got your same thing. If you go to my first video, the Bing, I think, is about... It's generally the same. I mean, you've got this Bing Rewards. Never used it in my life. Although I might try to because it might be neat. French fries. You get some, you know, your bottom thing. You get your top thing. You get your searchy search. You got your Bing that links back. You got your standard things. Now, this is the thing I haven't looked at. Explore. This is an interesting thing that Microsoft has decided to do. And, I mean, who uses Bing anymore, really? But, I mean, it, I'm, not get, I'm not going to kill them and murderize their faces because they're Bing. Um, that's bad. Apparently, if your monitor's too thin, which this sidebar is from Vivaldi, um, which I do not mind. But this, this browser tends to not do that. I mean, my personal intranet website I set up for my folks is not do this like I there, you know how you do this you literally go into the CSS you go to body and you literally in fact let me show you how to do this it's really easy you go to inspect and I can go all the way to the top let's hope it can debug like I can so you go to body I I, I, I edit it and I go like um, uh, oh what is it shoot I forgot what it was dang it um it was like side scroll, it was like scroll bar, oh yeah, is, is it scroll bar x uh, equals uh, disabled safe. 
and then that should run that code. Wait, look at that! It's based off Chrome, but... No, that was the wrong code, but it's literally that, and then you're done. I think it... No, you have to put that in the CSS, so I didn't did it wrong. You put it in... You literally go style equals, and then you put the quotes, and then you put um, scroll bar X, or scroll X, or something like that, colon, space, disabled, I think, and then it's a it's semicolon inside the parentheses, and you hit that, and you're done. That's not hard to do, Microsoft! <laughs> okay, anyway. I think that's really annoying that people do that. Like, like, you'll see that, and then people will be like, why is there a scroll bar that's sideways? Some websites don't do that. Some websites switch they, when your screen is, like, super narrow, they'll turn it to, like, a mobile version, which I think is a bad idea because then, like, you'll be on your mobile phone, and then you'll flip it over, and it looks, and it's hard to navigate. Anyway. Duck, duck, go. Okay, now I'd like to make mention something. <laughs> hey, Vivaldi loves duck, duck, go. And no, sorry to Vivaldi. Um, and duck, duck, go is kind of, I think they're acquainted with Vivaldi to a certain extent. But I really like it. I mean, I didn't review the Bing thing because it was on the same. But, but look at that. Look at that. You got your themes, like I said. Uh, you get the exact same themes. And it looks like there's a... Wow. I like that theme a lot. That's a nice feature. Theme changed. I, I literally cannot tell, tell the difference. I literally cannot. Well, at least there's that one. All right, whatever. Well, back to the original. But there's like, you know, there's this like menu and get involved. And it, it, it's an open source piece of system, I think. And it's really nice and clean. And you can hit the X button and get rid of this. And then there's this. Anyway, yes, it is open source, it looks like. Okay, so then what you want to do is we're going to go ahead and type potato. Potato. Thing in the potato song because I'm insane. That's why. Just shut up. Okay. Uh, and you get. You got your. Well. Whoa. You got your Wikipedia and then you got your Food Network and then you got World's Healthiest Foods. And if we go back to Bing. Okay. It is. It's, it's right there. That same result is very close. So Bing and DuckDuckGo tend to get. And then there's the potato website. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, then you got Facebook. Uh, it looks like they give relatively similar. Yeah, they do. Uh, have the potato change the world. Uh, yes, yes. Po dot ota dot to. I like that. I'm scared to click that button. I'll just, I'll censor it. Oh, no, it's not bad. It's not bad. Actually, that's really cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. Uh, they work with the White House, Nest, YouTube, Google, Android, Google ID, a lot of Google stuff. Skype, 10 Downing Street, Ips Ho, 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 ho. Oh, my gosh. Well, I support it. Full-heartedly, potato. I actually really like that. Okay, anyway, back to this. Um, but yeah, you got your general search results. You've got a very standard-looking thing. It loads more results at one time if you have a bad internet connection. That's very useful because it won't a million yards. Well, never mind. I was stupid. It's better if you are uh, you don't like him to switch. And it's a nice streamlined website system. I like that a lot. Um, now, if we go over here, it's the same thing, so... You were wondering that, and then you've got meanings and definition. I said that in the last one. It's very similar to the last one, to the last 25th, late 2014 edition. Um, and then you got your meanings and definition. And I like that. I actually like that. Because, like, in, in Google, it's like you'll type in a word, and it'll sometimes it'll give you a definition. Well, like here, it does not give me a definition. I have to type in definition. Then it gives me the definition for potato. And if I do it on here, Dylan's calling me. Okay, so the next one is actually because the thing that does the potato thing pretty well. Okay, so this is a little bit of a strange one. It's not exley.com. It's exley.com slash search. So let me show you what exley.com shows. It's a, uh, it's called Desout Systems. Uh, this is their website. They're, I think they're like a French company. Uh, they, they do a lot of text. They're like a French tech company, so... Uh, there you go, that kind of thing. It's very businessy. Uh, so, it's ex just do xle.com and lead 3ds.com, which is really weird because of the Nintendo connotation, on 
that don't redirect xle.com to that it, it's really they need to stop that's a bad part uh i do like i don't like really i don't know i don't like it really i really don't i don't like this at, at all like it's like there's four of these to get that one thing no uh there's like create account login preference what is all this about you know, and it's really almost advertising this company. It, it throws it in your face. All of this is excellent. I mean, is is Desalt Systems stuff, and it's really annoying. And I don't like that. So, Desalt, please, please, dude, like, please, guys, not dude, <laughs> please, guys. If you're making a web in, uh, search engine and you want people to use it. Make it like Google A, because that's everyone uses to make the search the search engine similar, because that's the only way you're going to get anywhere at first, and then you can start individualizing from it. And then, don't advertise your company like this! You're throwing the company in our faces, okay? But I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, and let's go ahead and do a search. So, potato, and we get, if it gets news on potato first. What the heck, man? That's crazy. Like, I, I didn't know... What? That's not cool. I don't like that. Uh... I... What? This is ridiculous. I do not web potato. And the first thing it shows is news on potato. And Kickstarter projects. I know potato. What is this stuff? I'm looking for a. Bl I'm looking for the definition of potato here. I'm looking for some potato recipes. That's not what you do, you know. Like I'm looking around to make some potato salad, man. Like I'm, I'm hungry. You know. I, I don't like this. Is a, this is a site not for the average Joe at all. Now there is a Wikipedia tab, which I do like. Kind of. But it's better just to integrate that into your search results as number one on a single word. Like, if it's a single word, you put your Wikipedia up first, and then you're done. Or your, or your dictionary.com thing, and you're done. Or a direct definition of the word, and you're done. Or do what DuckDuckGo did, and stick a, stick a uh, definition tab, which is quick to find, and is already preloaded, and not a completely separate web page. Which is what I would do. And what Xdelete should do. Their system is very news oriented and business oriented. Okay? If you are a business person, use Xdelete, okay? I, I, this is really not for the average Joe. This is a very business oriented thing. Because really, what are you going to look for when you're searching for, like, if you're a business? You're more than likely searching for news. Even as a business, though, you're not going to use this search engine to do nothing but news searches. So Exalit still has some fault there. Now, let's go to their advanced search because I'm interested. What? What the heck? That, that's, uh, no. That is not fun. That is not very user friendly. Um, URL, f no, 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 no. This is very complicated. This is not streamlined at all. Um, and I would not recommend it. I I'm gonna be, like, uh, the last one I was trying to be really neutral with it, and I'm going to still give Xlead a benefit of the doubt, but they need some massive improvements. Does it give search results? Yes. Does it give them relatively quickly? Yes. That should be a given with anyone. Do they have a relatively easy to find stuff when it comes to news? Yeah, they're fine. I don't care about that. But when it comes to, I want to know how to make a potato salad, or I want to know... For instance, if you're searching for you, you're a company and you're looking into investing on stock something, you want to find a website that's going to sell the product you want to buy, like some server racks, for cheap. And you, you're not gonna get that. You're gonna get news about server racks. No, actually, that's not how business works, at all. For some businesses, for some businesses, that's probably all they're gonna do. But I'm not a businessman. <laughs> I am. Not going to, like, I'm not into business right now. I want to be. I'd love to start a business. But that's not what I'm doing at the moment. Well, I'm actually trying at the moment, but whatever. Uh, that's beside the point. Now, Infospace, or Excite. 
Yay! It's powered by Dogpile, apparently. No one murder me. Anyway, this is the most simplistic web browser I've ever seen in my life. I would recommend this for someone that's relatively of old age. Now, I have not seen their search results yet. I've literally just popped onto this, and that's it. So, let's see if my... I guess predictions are correct. And I think this would be good for relatively older people because they're like, okay, I want a simple thing that works. That's what older people want. They want something simple that works. What we want as younger people, we want something that has a lot of functionality. We want something that we can get a lot done on. Older folks, it's a lot different. They want to get just something that works. They want something that they can get their results on quickly. So let's go ahead and check out the Excite. Excited about Excite! Yeah! Okay, anyway, I'm going to stop yelling. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. And we're going to go ahead and type potato. And let's see what we get. So, loading this up is a very simple web page. It looks like Google reskinned from 2013. I don't know when. Whatever that, you remember that version with the black bar? Like when it used to have a black bar up there? It was like that. Um, and you got your web images video. It's on the side and the top. This is definitely for older folks. Um, very, definitely, I would say, because it's got a very obvious, very easy to find stuff, and it works pretty well and it's simple pretty good one question does it give you good results yes yes it does what I do not like is the amount of ads related to potato you put your ads one or two ads and then you do the search results I don't like the it's not obvious where the web results start and where the ads related to end you need to have a distinct Title that's big and oh, this is where the web results start, and then like that related to this is where the ad related to stop, and you need to code them differently. Okay, excite, do that. Anyway, web results you get potato Wikipedia, good. You get Food Network recipes, good. You get World House Foods, good. Potato goodness, good. Potato Facebook, good. Very similar to Bling and relatively similar to the Google results you get. Okay, one thing I'd like to. Well, that's great. I mean, at least I was done that time. I just deleted the web page. All right, whatever, YOLO. All right, now we got Gigablast. I l have a love-hate relationship with Gigablast. I like it because it's cute. <laughs> Maybe this is the one for older folks because it's so easy to look at. In other words... Hmm... My point is, it's been, it's easy to, it's easy to, like, navigate, from what I can see. So you got your search, you got German search, meaning this has probably been, like, either based in Germany or there's a lot of German users. Directory advanced, add URL, syntax about, block. I don't know what the add URL thing, let's look at that. Okay, this is a very, I, I'm not cool with this, let's do google.com. I like that, that's neat. But it does not match with this. And it's ridiculously slow. That's a problem. Um, okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. Um, okay, let's go ahead and try. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Potato. That's the first. Okay. Oh, boy. We got that really bad results thing going on that we had going on with DDS. The thing over there. No, not this. Oh, I just realized those are the actual search results. Forget everything I just said yelling about the fact that they only showed news. Yes, they're horrible. Yes, I suck. They gave you a Kickstarter campaign on potato salad. Idaho Potato Commission. It's the same browser? Did Exily just reskin Gigablast? The 20... Okay, what in the world? Whoa, okay. Voila, there you go, guys. That is your, uh, that's, that's an interesting feature I just found out and had no idea about. That's kind of cool. And you drag this up and down, and you make it really long or really short. And you can even do that. That's kind of neat. Anyway, I'm going to leave that up there because I like it to be nice and thin. Anyway. Guys, no. Gigablast, I'm going to say one thing. I like the way it's built. I like it. Now I like it. 
If you saw the 20, late 2014 edition, I did not like that. I still don't like that layout. Now, it's not horrible, really. I mean, it actually works and is usable. Um, and it's got a directory, too. That's not that bad. But my point is, the search results are pointless. So, I now do not recommend Gigablast again. I'm going to say no and no to Exalead because they're the same thing as I just now realized. So, you know, this is not scripted. <laughs> I didn't do my research. I literally put this in together in like 20 minutes. But don't judge me. I know you're judging me right now. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and go back to Google. You know, you all know what Google is. I don't care. I'm not even reviewing Google. Google! Boom! Mind blown! Google! There you go. Googling everything. Google! <laughs> Has one Google results on about everything, which that's 207 million results. Look at that. That's amazing. That's amazing. I think they're just trying to show off that they're big and fat. Anyway, <laughs> Quant, I love. I love Quant, guys. Look at that web browser. Is that not awesome? Like, legit. That is neat, guys. Like, I'm sorry. Visually and design speaking, it gets the Quantum Flux approval. I mean, like, probably no, Facula Productions stamp of approval for design and stuff for science. <laughs> the embitterment of mankind as well, too. By the way, P.S. Ben is awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, well, there's this official stamp of approval. Boom, five out of five death by... Back to the serious, serious business. The design on this website is amazing, and I would like to utterly say to the designers of Quant, you guys are amazing. The designers are fantastic, and I am hoping that we get good results from this search, because I would use this. I have not looked at Quant for about six months, so just bear with me here. What? <laughs> it's in a huge jump. This is my reaction to seeing it after a year. Like, you gotta look at the old Quan. I, it was that good. I liked Quan back then, I think. I don't know with design, but... My gosh, guys! That's amazing! <laughs> um, now let's go ahead and type in potatoes. See ya. I also really like this sidebar, too. Like, I normally wouldn't, but wow. Let's look at potato. What? Whoa, 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 what? What? I'm gonna reload this page. It's a short URL! Oh my gosh! Notice! Watch this! You see this? Watch the, the bar, the search bar. Look at the search bar. Look at that. Look at that. Right on the top. It loads! It does not do that on Quant! That is- Oh wait, it does. Wait one second. It kinda does. Kinda. But it, it's so fast! That is awesome, guys! Is this our new staple? This might be the next Google. Just I, I'm saying it right here. This could be the next Google. And it might grow in popularity. But I gotta say, man. That's amazing. Alright. 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 You guys ready for the search results? You get a definition. I love it. Only one that's done that, except was it? Except DuckDuckGo, which had it on definition. Uh, yep, yeah, that was it. Like literally nobody else. I know Gigablast, Potato. No. Kudos, guys, and they got it from Wikipedia, which is what everybody does. But still, it's fantastic. It is a very, very sciency, really great definition. Are you ready? Potato Wikipedia. Is there. Got it. Food Network. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Same results as Google. Generally the same results as Google. I am almost shaking right now because I, I hiked for a really long time today. Yay for me. I'm healthy. Is Potato. The Potato website that was P dot po, P dot O T O. Yeah, this one. Yes! We've got P dot O dot two. Yes! I love Quant! God. 
What in the world? This is an amazing browser. Get this browser. Use it. Try it out. Try this browser. I'm not typing anything else in here because I'm scared of what's going to happen. <laughs> no, I'm not. But try this browser out, guys. Good gravy. That looks like iOS. It's not because the iOS ones are slightly different, but my god. And it animates itself. What? I'm blaming the box on Vi on 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 uh, Vivaldi. Okay, don't blame that. But what in the world? That is amazing. I'm legitimately freaking out right now. Oh my gosh. What's this flag about? And it also has a bunch of look at the organization. Five out of six out of five. Ten out of ten. Eleven, twelve, out, thirteen out of ten. Rounding up, meaning it was a 7 out of 5 star. But what in the world? This is the best search engine I've ever seen in my life. My gosh. I'm sorry, man. Like, legit. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Yahoo. Let's do Yahoo. <laughs> Alright, now I'd like to say, alright, let's take some time to say what I hate about it. Yeah! Now, let's look at Yahoo right now and say, oh, I don't know, it's literally filled with ads. Like, it's like a news site. And it really is a news site, um, kind of at the same time. It, it, it designs itself really badly. And I need to mute my phone to do this, I'm sorry. But I'll mute my phone next time I do one of these, and I will do more of these kind of things with, like, search engines, browsers, and stuff like that. I might do an in-depth review of one. No, I'm doing that with Vivaldi. Um, but what in the world, guys? That's insane. I mean... I mean, it's amazing. And look at this. I mean... What am I saying? Oh, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, come on. What is this? What in the world? Anyway, <laughs> I'm freaking out. Uh, but... Okay, that sucks. Wow, thanks, guys. Um, I, I do not like the, the news. I don't like this news. This is very... It's sponsored, too. Uh, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like that because it's... it's it, Something else. It's conspiracy? You know what? I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to say why. Because maybe it is legit, you know? I mean, sometimes it is, but a lot of times it's not. Look at that, guys. No. 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 I don't care about celebrities. I don't care about stars before they were superheroes. No. I don't care, guys. I'm going to say this right here and now. Celebrities are celebrities. Okay? They probably... They have really crazy lives. I don't care. I don't care if some random girl... I don't care if Rihanna marries Justin Bieber... I don't care. I don't I don't ever follow this kind of thing. And most people I don't I know don't even try to. They are literally people who have fallen into popular opinion and now they are literally getting bombarded by everybody. I dislike that. So I I, I don't get it. Now if you watch it, I'm gonna leave my mind open. If you do like keep up with like celebrities, let me know why, because I don't get it. Maybe I just don't understand, but, like, if anyone does, let me know, because I am open to, like, I'm open-minded. I'm not going to get mad at you if you do. Like, I'm, I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, yeah, go ahead and give me your opinion, but I don't get it. Like, I legit am like, there are people that are, that got famous for some reason. Kim Kardashian didn't get famous for anything. She just got famous because she, like, married a rap guy, like, um, like, like, that he married Kanye West. And I don't care that she married Kanye West. That's great. They got married. That's a good thing. But literally, like, going crazy about it, like... Oh my gosh, it's drama? I don't care about the drama. Keeping up with the Kardashians is a pointless TV series. Okay, I know what that ran about, like, hating that kind of thing. But anyway, let's go ahead and type potato. But there's so much to hate about that homepage. I'm sorry. Um, Alright, guys, let's see. You got your pretty standard thing. It looks exactly like Google did in 2013 or whereabouts. Look at that. The design is so similar. Wow. Wow. That's not cool.
No way. Yahoo. No, you cannot steal from Google. That's not cool. I also... Oh my gosh, it's a side scroll bar. Yahoo! You're the second most popular search engine and you do this? No way, Yahoo. Uh-uh. You don't do that, man. I'm gonna not be angry because I should not be angry. Um, I need to be a happy person. Yay. <laughs> no, I will say Firefox... I've got my opinion about Firefox, and it's not bad, but it's not great. In other words, it's falling behind everybody. I actually really like Firefox for some things, but whatever. That's beside the point. But I don't like the links to Firefox. I do not like this. I do. And that link, inspect, delete, deleted, goodbye. Deal with it, Yahoo. Deal with it. Yeah, I'm an HTML person. I just deleted it. No, that's only for my copy. I did not delete that on the service. For those of you who have, who don't, who are not like web people at all, some people believe that. If you if you are and think it's unbelievable, someone would believe that. There are people who would believe that. No, I did not do that. It's just like what a web page does is it will go onto your computer and then it will save and it will like be on your RAM, which is temporary. And you edit that, and it just edits the part on the RAM, not the part on the servers. Oh gosh, if that was a thing, the internet would be in shambles. Anyway, you get good. I'm I'm totally, totally fine with that. Except recipes.search.yahoo.com, which, by the way, a double subdomain sucks. But why? By the way, I want to try something out real quick. Oh. That's better! Yahoo! That should be your home page! This should be- I know it sounds like you're copying... Google. But every other website does it and they don't get hated on my Google! Yahoo, do that! Just, that should be yahoo.com, not search.yahoo.com. I'm totally fine with that. Except for this. I don't care about Selena Gomez, I don't care about Hillary I do care about Hillary Clinton because she's actually prominent. And I'm not saying my political opinion about her because I don't want to kill I don't I'm not gonna say it, okay? And I sound really opinionistic right now. I just don't like Ayu. <laughs> anyway, if you want to use Ayu, that's fine. Just I it's just not my thing, okay? There, I get mad. <laughs> anyway, Yandex! Yeah! I love Yandex because it's neat. And it's totally not a hacker site like I mentioned in the last one on an annotation. So forget I ever said that because that's not true. I actually legitimately like it. I totally rhymed horribly. <laughs> it is essentially the Russian equivalent of Google. <laughs> um, I mean, I like it. I like the clean stuff on it. I mean, there's like they do smartphone stuff. You got Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, Kazakhstan, and Turkey. Uh, you got your normal stuff and all that stuff. Fine. One thing to mention, though, there's bubbly-looking um, design on those uh, flags, and there's a flat modern design on all the rest. Love the flat. Not a huge fan of bubbly. If you're a fan of bubbly, that's totally fine. I just don't know. I don't. I don't. I just don't like it. Anyway, uh, you got nice, very clean website. I just like it. I actually like the triangle on the end of that. And there's also a keyboard, which is pretty nice in case you have a uh, touch screen device so i think that they like microsoft you can tell but then again microsoft does have an on-screen keyboard as well anyway let's go and type potato okay let's go to potato boom that's weird i don't know why that's there you got this th wow <laughs> what is this based on russian like click count what that's insane! I actually think that's kind of cool. Well, uh, Minecraft has gotten so popular that Potato, with 46 million answers, it's the number four result! <laughs> anyway, there's this thing, which is a Wikipedia thing. Totally fine. Don't like the image because it's really kind of annoying. Probably the plan. Anyway, I give that a pass on the search results. I also really like this UI. It's pretty solid. I mean, I don't like the reloading, though. That is a problem. And the redoing of it. And the redoing of Oh, I love that. That's neat. Oh, that's neat. Now, do you understand that these 60, 12, 80, 12, the, the different sizes, it's the same aspect ratio. So it'll scale down perfectly to your monitor. That's just an FYI. And I'm using 12, 80, 24 monitor. Anyway, that's it, guys, for me.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give a like, coming and subscribing to this channel. I am the Quantum Flux, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you liked it. Yay! Yeah, that, that was like a really weird one. Like, legit. Like. But anyway, yeah, go ahead and go to the Vivaldi one. Uh, to review that. Because that is a neat browser. I actually like it, kind of. It's kind of a neat thing. Go check that out, and I'll probably link right back to this video to clickbait you. Yay! Thank you guys for watching. Alright, bye guys.